Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm doing some pizza again. I got the correct pizza this time. Um, I put some vegan Parmesan on here, which is basically nutritional yeast. One part nutritional yeast to one part almond flour. So what I have here is the Whole Foods pizza, the one I was talking about that unfortunately they saute these vegetables and oil. I'm not, I'm not going to get a perfect anything from them, so as <laughs> I'm finding. Uh, all right. And um, I have some red pepper hummus. I have some backup red hummus. And I made a salad which has some cucumber, my tzatziki dressing, and um, falafel and it's pretty basic and some marinated um oh cauliflower it's not in the fridge it's good and of course some chips so you dig in oh i'm already digging in here <laughs> mm. much better I just finished lifting weights. I know I promised I wouldn't do this, but I just did my biceps, my guns today. Okay. I can't. Help. I feel so good after lifting. I all. I just. I feel like all my circulation is just like just streaming. It's just. That's great. Also, I have some things coming up that Karen for Life is going to be at New York City RuPaul's Drag Con again. Oh yeah. Really looking forward to it. I'm digging this season. Season 11 RuPaul. I was voting for Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. But, um, as I said in another video, she got to get rid of those charro looks. But she's definitely, she's definitely a queen. She's definitely a star. Um, but it just seems to me that Brooklyn Heights is seriously kicking ass and at first i thought it was such a setup because she did detox and i was like wow she kind of looks like detox not that it's a bad thing but come on let's detox um kind of like having the name raja so i won't open that wound again oh my god so i'm doing this and my microphone I threw out over there. <laughs> ASMR kit. I don't know how to use it. Didn't come with instructions. And I don't know where I'm looking on my phone either. You might have noticed. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure of this camera angle. But. Oh well. There's quite a motley crew over there. Anyway, we're going to go VIP again. If you go there, you got to go VIP. Yeah, save save your dollars. Save your dollars if you, if you have to. Go VIP. I will stop playing with the camera. Last year we saw um, 
Ginger Minge, who was such a sweetheart. I would, oh, who would I, you know what? If I were to vote for a sweetheart from the ones that we saw, it would be um, probably Darian Lake. And that surprises me too. But Darian gave me, you know, it was a photo op, but it wasn't, I wasn't doing it for the photo op. I don't know what came over me. I just, if this happens, I think at DragCon, you just get filled with love. <laughs> and I wanted to hug Darian Lake. Yep. And she was offering free hugs. And I took it. And I was so... Like, that was a serious, serious hug. That was like a bear hug, a mama hug. It was like, oh my God, so strong. And it was just wonderful. And I think she just is definitely going down as the sweetest for even offering that. Because when you go to the booths at DragCon, um... You have to pay. Oh, there's another country heard from once again. Um, <laughs> and another country not far enough away. All right, you two. Mm. Oh. Mm. We saw and had pictures with Bob the Drag Queen. Bob, Bob looked at me like I was crazy, which was really funny. But I was just really, like, I just looked at him like, hey, how you doing? And he was just like, how you doing? And I was like, great, how, how are you doing? I got really emotional. Like when I went to see Ginger Minge, I don't know what was coming over me. She said something like, we're all sisters here and we're all family here. And I was just like, <laughs> and the picture reflected it. I mean, I was trying to like gain my composure. Now I would have been okay, whatever with that, um, except it happened again when I saw Trinity Taylor, who blew me away. She was stunning. Her dress was gorgeous. It felt, the material felt exquisite. <laughs> and she was, I don't know, I want to say mystical. That's what she looked like to me. She looked like something mystical. Just stunning. And she was also so cool about like, like asking questions like that. My wife and I never have been asked before just because we don't, we don't really socialize that much. We don't really socialize with anybody much. So um, we don't really usually have questions like, so when did you guys get married? No, when did you guys really get married? Because there are two different dates sometimes when you're dealing with, um, like, gay people. Gay arrangements. I don't like where I'm sitting, maybe. I like, look at them. They're kind of scary. So, you know, we never had these types of questions posed to us. I, it was really cool. It was just really cool. And she was just so natural about it. And we felt incredibly comfortable with her. And, you know, she also had, um, she also had a charity that she was working on. She was also working on a cause for the oceans. So that was incredibly appealing to us because if there's any way to get Karen for life to get involved, it is most definitely a charitable anything. And um, we just love it. We were, we were grabbing everything, a little squishy things, little, uh, we got t-shirts, we got, I mean, it was, just, it was just a really beautiful thing. 
And then we saw, um, we saw Katya, who my wife really likes, and I think she's a riot. I think she's really funny. Um, but the line for her was really long. <laughs> like, and when we got there to her finally, you could tell that she was just, I don't know, wiped out, strung out. I don't know. Wicked tired, for sure. And, um, I don't know. It, it seems like these queens are put through a lot. But, you know, they're also making some bank. So that's good. Um, who else did we see? Pandora's box. Pandora box. I can't believe this. I used to always have my food up on Pandora's box. And here is the box I use. Pandora's box, which is holding all of my hair beads that I make. What? So we went to see her. I wish I said, uh, you know, I really hope that they get you on another All Stars because it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like just going in and just kind of opening up a wound for her. But um, the pairing of her, the pairings in general were, okay, good for a few, you know, episodes or whatever. But for an entire season, you know, I call bullshit. Just like a lot of people in the community have called bullshit on, on All Stars Season 1. I'm not going to even talk about my complete bias, which is Raven. Raven is the queen, is a queen, is a superstar, all-star. I don't know, she's going maybe somewhere um, interstellar. I don't really know. But some of the character, yes, there are things that we didn't see, or maybe I think it was an untucked where she was not so gracious with her loss. <laughs> I don't really blame her. I wasn't so gracious either about it. You know, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, even Alaska admits that she, you know, the way she responded when Jinx won was like, it's a very emotional time to have a camera shoved in your face. And I know athletes do it all the time after games. You know, well, that was a tough one, you know. But it just has a different feel in All-Stars after they're coming off the stage and it's all fresh and meh. And plus, we, you know, I don't know. I'm making excuses for her, but she's an all-star. She's my all-star. I've said that before. I've named my car after her. I looked at my car and said that is the fiercest fucking thing I've ever seen. That's Raven. <laughs> Raja, believe me, I've got something planned for you too. Hamas? No. Um... Raja, oh, well, she got her crown, though. She done got her crown. Raja just, there, no one was in the same category. It's kind of like how um, Evie is for this season. You can't really touch her. She might screw up one episode or something, you know, with one of her outfits, which happened for... Oh, horrible. It was supposed to be horror or something. It was, that just did not work right. That whole episode was weird. It's like none of them understood the concept <laughs> of what the challenge was. <gasps> That's when Versace comes out as a mermaid. No, no. Anyway, but just how Evie stands out in her season, the way Bianca stood out in her season, they couldn't be touched. 
They were never going to be at the bottom. They never have to really lip sync. Um, Violet Tchotchke. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. They just took it all the way through. I don't know that this season is going to be that simple. I do see... Um, Evie, most definitely, as a finalist. I see Brooklyn Heights. <laughs> I can't get the falafel in my mouth. Um, and the third one? I don't know where Plastique Tierra came from. You know, I'm just learning now that, you know, um, about her mother, her stage mother, her drag mother. You know, Alyssa Edwards. What? I wasn't crazy about Raja O'Hara. Um, but she did bring up something in Untucked that actually it did kind of look like okay your drag mother's showing up and now you're getting um the family call in in untucked and it's like it definitely seemed like there was some favoritism going on i think that i, I really think that raja clocked that right i do I haven't been impressed with, with plastic. Excuse me. She might have some, you know, the outfits that people like, but when it comes to like improvisation and all the other things that you really need to be on top of, I just, she just falls in the crowd. So if she is, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised um, if she is there and Vanjie isn't. Now Vanjie really has to screw up her, she's gonna really have to screw up her looks. Because when it comes to the performance aspect, when it comes to like the improv stuff, she's with it. She's easy, she will easily overstage people um, with, with her voice. <laughs> that freaking voice, I love it. Um, I really can't think of another contender that could be top three at this point. But as we've learned with past seasons, you never know what's going to happen. Things are dead, so they're going to get really cutthroat. Like this up this week. Oh yeah. So for DragCon, like I said, I saw Pandora Box. I was going to see Manila Zan, but everyone was at Latrice's wedding, which you know. So what? Latrice's wedding. Like Latrice Royale. Hmm. Almost done here. Mm. Make this tzatziki dressing. Boom! Right there. Very simple. It's got some buttermilky thing going on. It's really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm.
So, who else, who else, who else? So, you have to bring a lot of money to DragCon. You gotta figure it's $20 at least for each queen you wanna see. That's how they've done it. Trying to think of who I want to see that I have not. I should have gone to Alexis Michelle. We passed her so many times and her her display was so beautiful. It was like out of Sunset Boulevard. It was just, it was so, it was beautiful. Mm. We could have seen Detox several times. I don't know why we didn't. Um, what happens is you want to see certain queens and that takes up a lot of time. You want, you know, in planning. If you want to go see Katya, it's going to take like at least half an hour or something in that line. Her line is ridiculously long. So you have to have one person there that breaks up your group. It, I don't know. Um, people that were really easier to see are like, um, Trini K. Benet, Tammy, um, Alexis Michelle, Angina. Oh, we saw Vivacious. Vivacious, I don't know. Vivacious is so fun. We would just walk by, and she's always out in these club clothes. I, oh, God. I, I love stopping to say hi to her. Um, but she's also available. You know, there's no, like, ridiculously long line. And, and it's such a turnoff. It really is. Like, I wanted to see Trixie Mattel, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to stand that long. Trixie would, probably would have been... I don't know. It seemed like an hour. And we had VIP tickets. <laughs> and it could have been timing. She was also newly um, added to the Drag Star Hall of Fame. So, so she was kind of busy. Uh, who else? Detox. Detox very approachable. Alyssa Edwards is just kind of walking around. Oh, her entourage. RuPaul was walking around. Um, it was the last day. And there he was. So down to earth. And just fun. He's like walking around the place like the Pied Piper. It's like, yeah, just, just, everyone's just following him. <laughs> like, go ahead, go wherever you want. We'll follow. Um, I guess what I really, really, really liked about it is that they're all very approachable. I'm not someone who's going to approach. You know, like, I don't do that. But. Um, this is very festive. Now, this year, my hopes. God. Well, it's going to depend on who's there. Like, I didn't see Miss Vanjie. I don't think, no, Vanjie wasn't there last year. I don't think. I don't, I don't remember. Michelle Visage, I should have gone and say hi to her because she was, her line was, wasn't too bad when we first got there. Um...
Who else? Who else? <clears throat> I don't know. I ain't good at any panels. Or maybe I'll go to a panel. Right, this year, we're going to be bringing um, our niece. So, we're definitely going to pick a party. I don't know which. But we're going to party. So there's that. Drag con. Hmm, some of what I think about uh, the current season 11. I'm not going to talk about the last all star season. Though I love Trinity. Trinity is her own queen. She could have had her own freaking all star. All right, I'm not going to talk about it. Not. I wish that Raja was going to be there. Or Raven. Ra if Raven were there, I'd probably be like, oh my god. I don't know what I'd do. I'd have to... Ha we, get, we get to go there a little bit early and... I would probably be there just like camping or something outside, <laughs> even though I have the tickets and everything. Raven, I would probably, maybe would geek out about. Hey, Raven, I named my car after you. Security. <laughs> mm. Wow. I ate it all. It was good. Ah, uh, fresh tea. This one is, it's like, it tastes like Halloween. I don't know. It's like some sort of pumpkin-y, harvest-y thing, and I like it. It works for me. So, what else do we have planned? Etheridge. Yep. This time we're really going to do it, though. This time we're going to do a photo op with her. We haven't seen her in such a long time. But when we saw the photo op part, we were like, we're doing this. We're just doing this. We're doing it. We can do it. We're doing it. So <laughs> we're going to get a photo op with her, and I'm sure I'm going to, you know, show you that. And, um... Who else? Oh, you see corn. You know. We're going to see Katya. And, and uh, she's doing a show. And what else? Who else? And then we're going to take off to China. So we've got some really big things coming up. And all I need to focus on are my buttons. Sorry. 